In this video, I'm going to hopefully answer once and for all whether using drones such as the DJI Mini 2 with third party apps such as Litchi, Drone Link, and Rainbow does actually invalidate your DJI Care Refresh or whether that is a complete myth. So let's get into it. It has been reported by a few YouTubers that using third party apps if you have a DJI K refresh policy might not be the best idea. The idea that this actually invalidates your policy entirely. For the reasons cited for this, we have to look at the DJI terms of service for K refresh. If we look at section 2.4.2 under exclusions, if we drop down to section three, you can see where the exclusions are damage caused by using your DJI product together with a non DJI product or third party accessory stroke software that is not authorized by DJI. Okay, under normal circumstances, that would be absolutely fair enough. However, I have a couple of queries regarding that. Well, first of all, many people use landing gear, many people use strobes, many people use skins, wraps, whatever you want to call them, and neither, neither of those are authorized by DJI. So I wanted to really delve down into that word unauthorized. Now, if you know how this all works, okay, you will possibly be aware that DJI actually supply uh, these third party companies with the software development kit. And basically, what that means is that's all DJI's control. Controls. So DJI knowingly allow these third party companies to be able to control their drones. It's not like it's just some fly by night company that just pops up, charges you to 23 quid for an app, and then, you know, starts making your drone fly away or do some sort of crazy things. You know, these are DJI's controls. So with all this in mind, I decided to fire off an email to DJI. I wanted to ask them exactly what apps in this case was authorized and what specifically made Litchi and these other third party apps unauthorized. Now, I fired off this email and quite frankly, it was quite a disappointing response. My email went to four different people and in the end, all I eventually received was an email just outlining DJI Care Refresh and how it works and all of the benefits. Basically, a bit of a nothing email and it was quite clear they didn't want to answer my email. Bearing in mind, I was very particular in what I asked and went into great detail and clearly they didn't want to answer it, okay? So, cut long story short, I decided to just continue with my series of videos given the fact that I'd not had my answer and in one of my recent videos, I made this claim. Uh, my advice is if you are using DJI Care Refresh and the fact that I can't get an answer out of them, I would automatically go with they will not cover you in the event that there is a problem. So basically, I sort of gave up on the idea of getting a straight answer and advise you guys that you will not be covered under DJI Care Refresh. However, recent developments meant that one of you viewers actually reached out to me and provided me with a piece of information. Now, you, the viewer, had actually had a conversation with DJI support and asked a very similar question as to what I was asking. Now, the answer that the, this person received seemed to be overwhelmingly positive and seemed to suggest that if you had a DJI Care Refresh policy, you would actually be covered. So once they sent that to me, I thought, right, that's great, okay? I'm not going to let this go and I'm going to delve straight back into it and I'm going to push DJI even further because I want this answer. And for me, I don't care either way whether it is covered or not. I just wanted to provide an absolute stonewall answer. So I decided to get back onto my laptop and start sending some emails back to DJI. This is the question I asked them. It was a bit more specific than last time um, and a bit more direct. And I just basically asked them, look, if I'm using my DJI Mini 2 and I'm using a third party app such as Litchi, would I be covered? Okay, and finally they responded and this is their response. Please be advised that we do not suggest using third party apps. Now, fair enough, off the face of it, that looks like they're saying no, but they're not, are they? You know, they're saying they don't suggest using third party apps. Okay, just a suggestion because the next passage clarifies all. In case for crash, you can use the DJI Care Refresh. Okay, pretty simple. It says in black and white, in case of crash, you can use DJI Care Refresh. I've already outlined the fact that I'm using Litchi. I'm already outlining this is a third party app. Okay, yes, they have said that they don't suggest using a third party app, but Ultimately, if you do have a crash, you can use DJI Care Refresh. You will pay a small amount for replacement rather than paying the repair fee. 
Okay, sounds fair enough. Most of you DJI Care Refresh owners know that once you want to make a claim, you will pay an initial little upfront sum in most cases, unless, is, unless it is, of course, a genuine um, DJI error or warranty issue. But at this stage, I still was not satisfied. One of you viewers had had a yes, I had had a yes, but with a bit of a, a warning, uh, I wanted to push this even further. So once again, I got back on my laptop and give this a third try. So I went again to DJI support, not via the email, via the website, and I fired off the same sort of question, exactly what I'd asked before. You can see this on screen specifically, if I'm using my DJI Mini 2 and a third party app, I specifically mentioned Litchi, would I be covered for using third party apps okay i then also sent a copy of the uh, answer i'd had previously so it could be fact checked one way or another whether it was right or wrong okay and as you can see this is the response on screen third party app does not affect the coverage of the dji care okay again <laughs> it's good but it's not quite the one i'm looking for all right so then i asked a follow-up question so if i had an accident and i was using a third party app such as litchi i'm not repeating myself and i had a dji k refresh policy i would still be covered is that correct and kelvin from dji answered yes you are right so that seems to be pretty conclusive and seems to be enough for me to claim that it does appear that using third party apps will not invalidate your DJI Care Refresh policy. Okay, of course, little disclaimer all the information I've given you and my advice is to the best of my knowledge, and you've seen it for yourself on screen uh, that this is in written format. Uh, direct from DJI really um, so I don't know how we can really question it further uh, I've had three answers all to the positive and of course I have not actually tried to claim on DJI Care Refresh using a third party app myself um, from my own personal experience because well one I've not crashed my drone and two I don't use DJI Care Refresh uh, but I just wanted to provide all this for informational purposes only and of course it's entirely up to you what you decide to do third party apps are not for everybody I fully appreciate that but of course they do add some really really cool features such as active tracking and gps follow and orbit and focus mode as well so plenty of uh, toys for you to play with using these apps always carry a degree of risk but if you are being completely safe competent aware of your surroundings and showing complete diligence in what you are doing they are absolutely no more likely to cause a problem accident or crash than using quick shots on the dji fly app so that wraps up the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you found this video useful. And until next time, see you again soon.